Recently, I came across some really cool phone backgrounds of circuit boards that were specific to the phones they were on. It gave the illusion of looking right through the screen at the internals of the phone. Today, I'll show you how I did this for my phone and I'll talk about my plans for creating a library of circuit board images for different phones. Stay tuned! From a recent project, I had a teardown of my current phone, an LG Rebel 4. Photographing the circuit board was pretty simple. I laid out the circuit board on a sheet of white paper to make it stand out for cropping later. Using the stock camera app from my Pixel 3, I took enough shots to know one of them should be usable. When selecting the best photo, zooming in on tiny text helps because you want the one with the sharpest looking text. One feature I like to use in Google Photos is the lighting adjustment that adds special effects to the brightness of the photo. I typically use Auto or West to brighten the photo depending on how dark the original is. For cropping, I like to use Logo Pit for Android. It makes quick work of many image modifications I tend to do, including cropping. I'll be saving these images as a collection for anyone to download. The link to the collection will be in the description. Retrieving an image should be fairly straightforward. Follow the link to the collection, review the photos, and download the one or ones you like best. My collection is pretty tiny right now, but it's a work in progress. Once you've downloaded the file, it should be in your download folder. To change the wallpaper in Android, Long press the home screen, then select wallpaper, then gallery, and somewhere in there you should find your background image. Before confirming the selection of the image, crop the image to get a better fit within the viewable screen area. Do this if, for instance, you want the camera module in the image to line up just right with the phone's actual camera. And that's it. Now I know most of you won't be tearing down your phones just to get a photo of its internals to use as a background, but there are other resources. Google search your phone, including terms like schematics, circuit board, or teardown, then selecting images at the top of your browser usually produces good results. I'll be adding to my collection indefinitely, focusing on the non-flagship phones, since I feel those images will probably be harder to come by, as opposed to searching for images of an iPhone XS or Pixel 3 XL, which I'm sure you'll have no problem finding more than enough images of. I hope this video has given you some new perspective on background images. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.